Hey everybody, so I'm setting up a game for a couple of friends and uh, we're going to do a little survival horror sci-fi game in Stars Without Number. So uh, I just wanted to show you real quick how I, uh, how I set up this, uh, this recording so that um, if we are playing and um, I have my map up over here or um, if I want to do some dice rolls. Um, let me see, let me pull up somebody. Let's see, let's do a saving throw. You can see all of the, um, the dice rolls over here on this side. And um, I think that's the right side now. Wait, that, yeah. Um, so yeah, if you wanted to record a game or if you wanted to stream a game, then uh, this would be a good way to do it. So let's just jump right into it. All right, so um, first things first. So let's say that, you know, you, you have your notes up and then you have your game running over here and then your you know, kind of like running around, like pulling things up all over the place. You don't want to show any of that to your players, right? Or you don't want to show that in your in your video. So what we're going to do first off is we're going to create a new view from the player's perspective. So I'm going to um, I'm gonna, first off, I'm going to put my players onto the, the landing page. And then um, I'm going to create a, um, I'm going to create a, a new, a new page, right? So I'm going to say rejoin as a player, and then I'm going to open that in a new window. So I have two instances of uh, roll 20 going, right? So first off, I'm going to turn off dark mode. I'm going to move the, the little portraits out of the way so that I can record the map a little better. And then if you, you know, you can use Roll20 uh, for like recording video and audio and stuff like that. I'm using Discord, um, or we, we like to use Discord. We don't actually use webcams, but I'll, I'll show you how to do it. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into um, OBS and uh, I actually have like two instances of OBS running right now because um, I'm recording this video with uh, with OBS. It's like a, it's like Inception, you know, like a taco inside of a taco inside of a Taco Bell. Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is first off, we are going to set up a new scene. So what what this does is it um, it lets you um, it just gives you a sort of like a blank canvas to work from, right? So we're going to call this Roll20 Capture. So like totally blank, right? So first thing I'm going to set up is um, I'm just going to set up a little window to record the map. So I'm going to create a window capture. And then um, when I'm going to uh, do a new one, call that the map. And then I'm going to go down here and pick from the windows that I have open. And I'm going to pick this window, which is the uh, this one, the, the one that I just created that's that's from the player's perspective. So uh, that's all that we have for now, right? So I want to go ahead and crop that in and get rid of all of every, all, everything else, right? So I'm going to press Alt and then hold down these little boundaries. And I'm going to go ahead and crop everything in so that just the map is showing. In fact, you know, I'm going to go, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so that I have a better 
resolution on that map. So, yeah, but I only want to show the map over here. Okay, and then next up, what I want to do is just get the dice rolls. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make a new uh, little window of the same page, and then crop that in on the dice rolls. And now I can um, I can move these around. I can put them wherever I want, and I can resize them, make them bigger or smaller. So I make dice rolls a little bigger, and then um, say that I want to I want to put something more interesting in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, drop an image in back there. So I just go over here, click on image, and then I'm going to go into my downloads. And I found this image from uh, NASA that I like. It's, uh, we paid for it with our tax dollars, so feel free to use it. And I'm going to put that uh, over here. So what, what it did, though, is that it dropped it on the top layer. So all I need to do now is just rearrange it and then drop it in behind everything else. And um, <clears throat> so let's say, OK, oh, well, this is important. Um, so right now, this is, uh, this is recording these, these two captures. Are recording the desktop audio so that's going to get um, like the other players on uh, discord and it's going to capture it's going to get like sound effects like dice rolls and stuff like that but I need to patch in um, my my actual microphone so I'm going to add an audio input and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, use the microphone that I'm using right now so you can see that we have audio now on there. So that's just the mic that I'm using to right now to record with. And then um, let's say that you wanted to use your webcam too. Same thing, super easy. Um, I'm just going to go over here and you pick a video capture device. So I have my my webcam. Oh, where are you? So what it is is that it's um, it's running in the actual um, the software that I'm using right now to uh, to record with. <laughs> so I'll show you it's uh, it's it's running in the other instance of Rule Twenty over here in the uh, the the one that I already made. So that's not going to work right now. But um, the uh, what what I can do is do the same thing, and then I can I can drag that to wherever I want, crop it in, and put it wherever I want. And uh, let's say that I wanted to do more stuff, like I wanted to add some nice little borders or something. Um, I want to add like um, I don't know, you name it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in a, a GIF, an animated GIF. Um, so I found these. These are, uh, you know, just kind of generic, like, uh, uh, plug and play little, um, webcam GIF things. So I can put those in and you can see it's already has the animations in there and then it has the little cutout and everything. And uh, 
I can show players over here or let's say um, uh, let's say that you have like a green screen uh, some kind of animated thing that uses a green screen that's pretty easy to do too so I can pick uh, another GIF over here and uh, this one this isn't actually a green screen but it has this gray it has this background thing. Let's say that I only want to show this swirling effect and I want to get rid of the gray background, right? So first off, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to put a, um, a filter on it. So I have this image selected and uh, I'm going to add a chroma key. So the chroma key is going to let me just key out one color. Um, so I'm going to go in here and I'm going to pick a custom color and I'm going to select the color um, from the screen. So it just picks up that gray right there, right? And then what, it, um, what these let me do is they let me key out the, the gray. So this is going to take away all of that color and then I can sort of bump these up or bump these down depending on on how I want that to look right so there you see that we've just got that little kind of swirling effect going over that area but uh, yeah that's the that's the long and short of it you can see you know we've got all of these elements of our scene and then let's go over to roll 20 to the instance that I have running. And I'm going to move the players over here from the, the landing page into the Xenobiology lab. And um, we can see that if I pull up OBS, there we are. Everybody's over there in that, in that area. And then let's say that I want to get rid of this clearing white. Thing. What I can do is I can set the uh, uh, rule 20 to dark mode and then that's going to get rid of that glaring white background and uh, and whoop, should be oh oh whoops the wrong, wrong one set this one to dark mode and then if we pull up OBS you can see that it's got everything set up like that. So yeah, I um, hope that helps you out. And this will work if you're uh, re streaming or recording, you know, just for like YouTube or if you want to stream to um, uh, Twitch or, you know, and, and there's there's other stuff that you can do with Twitch too. Like you could add um, uh, other elements like um, uh, <laughs> sub animations or, um, you know, all kinds of, there's all kinds of cool stuff that you can do in, uh, in OBS, but that's kind of like the bare bones. And, uh, yeah, I hope that, uh, helps you out and I will see you guys in the next one.